Russia's post-Soviet youth, the Soviet cultural post-Soviet archives, post-Soviet, 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 Soviet, 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 dreamy post-Soviet music, Kasha Robchinsky. Do you guys want to show off your fashion sense? Do you want to have an outfit that will get you all of the ladies and will show off your amazing wealth? Do you want to look like this gentleman right here? Mwah, so stylish, amazing. Perhaps you want to look like this guy. Do you want to buy clothing that looks like every Gopnik wore in the 90s in Russia, but except every clothing item costs hundreds of dollars? Well, today, guys, I will show you how. Yes, so stylish, so beautiful. You guys might say, no fuckers, you don't know shit about fashion. Yo, you can say that shit to me, okay? Because, you know, I got all the Yeezys, okay? Check this out. This is the new... Supreme Louis Vuitton Adidas collab right here. This is the new Off-White Supreme Air Force Ones, never seen before, only pair in the world. So, you know, being a young buck like myself, I'm roaming around the internet trying to find some interesting clothing. And I don't know if you guys are into the newest couture, but there's a new brand out that is pretty hot in the West, that is created in Russia, and its name is Gosha Rubchinsky. Gosha Rubchinsky is like the hottest new designer. It's basically clothing that my grandpa would wear in the 1980s, that uh, dumb American capitalists for some reason buy for hundreds of dollars a piece. I mean, PewDiePie recently made a video making fun of Supreme for being stupid and people following the cause of Supreme brand, but yet he's wearing a Gosha Rubchinsky sweater that says Gosha Rubchinsky Russia on it in uh, like every fucking video. A bit of hypocritical that PewDiePie. So let's see exactly what the genius design of Gosha Rubchinsky is. So cute. So cute. The nigga looks like a looks like a Soviet schoolboy that's playing football. What is this outfit? Uh, see, are you serious right now? What is this? What is this outfit, dude? Like, first of all, this nigga got the worst slav haircut possible. <laughs> the whole thing with Gosha Rubchinsky is that the models that he chooses look like actual Russian Gopniks from the 90s. Like, that's that's the whole entire idea. Or they look like some sort of European uh, Gabber rave party uh, d dudes that do ecstasy. I mean, what is this supposed to symbolize? The, uh, the Chernobyl disaster that... Uh, created this abomination of a clothing brand. Yeah, that's fucking epic. That sweater, that sweater looks like what my grandma does, okay? My grandma makes these sweaters for free. Okay, a pink jacket, I guess that's good for the bitches out there. Uh, yes, incredible. So amazing. Like, this is the entire freaking idea of Gosha Rubchinsky. It basically just capitalizes on uh, the trend of Russian letters right now in the fashion world. You know, like, a couple of years ago, was it was cool to have, like, Japanese shit written all over your t-shirt or whatever, or Chinese lettering. Now what's cool Cool is Russian letters. So this just says Adidas on the back in Russian and holy shit This is the biggest fashion fashion item of 2018. You know, it's probably cool for the stupid American capitalists out there However, when Russians actually uh, look at Gosh Rybchinsky clothing, it looks like Russian fake Adidas or some shit It looks like counterfeit stuff literally. I mean seriously, what is this look? This guy literally looks like a, a Soviet school schoolboy. I'm not lying about this. Let's just type it in. Like seriously, look at this This is a photo from 1960 just a Russian football team in the 1960s. Look at this as well, just some dudes in school in like 1970 or whatever. Now look at this, this is amazing fashion apparently. Holy shit, Gosh Rybchinsky, you're a fucking genius, my dude. Once again, a sweater that looked like my fucking grandma made it, and no disrespect to my grandma, your sweaters are awesome, but they're not awesome when they sell them for like $500, okay? It says Western Punch. Western punch in it. W w like, the, the letters at this point don't even make sense even in Russian, but Western capitalist picks buy it because holy shit, Russian text on a t-shirt. Better buy that shit. Yeah, look at that. It just says Adidas in Russian in the shirt. Fucking epic. Let's check out the prices on these things real quick. So, uh, this for example, right? 120 pounds. Probably not as expensive as Supreme, but still, it's fucking retarded. The red one, sold out, 120 pounds. Pants cost 105. A sweater a Russian grandma would make, 155 uh, pounds. Uh, it, it's just all, like, half of it is sold out here. It's fucking ridiculous. Like, the problem with Russian wording on uh, t-shirts is that it's almost if, like you get a tattoo on your arm in Chinese that would just say water or something shit, you know? When a Chinese person sees that, they're gonna be like, that's some dumb shit. So here is the exact same shit, basically. It just says football on it, okay? Would you buy a t-shirt from Adidas that said football on it in English? Like, a t-shirt that just says football. Yeah, that's an epic fucking print, my dude. No, it's fucking stupid. And here it just says football in Russian. Like, if, if I'm out in this, I'm gonna be embarrassed, because <laughs> it literally looks like Chinese counterfeit products. Like, I cannot get over it.
This is from a documentary that was recently done on Gosh Robczynski by ID. As you guys can see, this is the favorite pastime of the Russian youth. Popping mollies, dressing in clothing that their fucking grandpa would wear and dancing around in some dark place. I mean, I'm not gonna be a boring cunt, I did a fair share of clubbing in my life, but uh, I did- I wasn't dressed like my fucking grandpa while I did it. We are the first generation that does not complex of this Soviet man. Everything you did, it will be these people are just absolute fucking poses, if I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> like, one thing is just buying Gosh Robczynski because of the hype, but the other is like, because of the whole Oh, we are the post-Soviet generation. We are so epic and so different from our parents who were in the Soviet Union. We're so special. Look at us wearing clothing that actually uh, was worn in the Soviet Union, so technically everything we do is still influenced by the Soviet Union, so we just copy what the Soviet Union did like 40 fucking years ago. I wish a lot of Russian people of my generation would not pose us like this and would be, uh, you know, it, it's not that deep. You just wear an overpriced clothing that looks like garbage. Искали гордых таких довольно жестких парней, в итоге это все переконвертировалось в рейверов задротов. You could have just said it easily that you're basically just looking for guys that look like fucking gopniks. I mean, look at these faces. If I saw this couple of dudes looking at me in a dark neighborhood somewhere in Russia, I think I'm, uh, I'm in a bad situation. So no, we can take a look at here as a couple of uh, Gosha clothing, as you guys can see. You know, we got a lot of uh, oversized looking stuff, uh, shit that makes you look like a Soviet schoolboy. These pants right here, they, they came straight out of the fucking 90s. Like, my dad probably even wouldn't wear this. He, he probably would have thought that these are too old to be fashionable. Look at this epic, absolutely epic sweater with a tall neck on that. But you need to keep in mind that most of this clothing, uh, I mean, what, what is this? What the fuck is this? Like, if I saw somebody on the street wearing this, I just think the guy's a fucking retard. <laughs> then we got this, this going on. Uh, that's, that, that's absolutely beautiful. This right here, absolutely beautiful. He has some pants that, that came from his fucking granddad, but no, this, this probably cost like $200. So let me go in my wardrobe real quick and check out some items that would, uh, fit uh, the Gosh Robczynski style, so he, maybe he, I can give him some inspiration. Okay guys, welcome to the NoFocus Arts and Crafts show where I'll show you how to get the fire uh, Gosh Robczynski clothing. First of all, we got some, uh, we got some shots. It's a fila, so uh, you can see it's a, it's a Gosh Robczynski collab. It's, it's fashion, okay? This shit costs like a hundred dollars. Then I found this cap right here, which comes from a place where my mom works, which is uh, the, uh, one of the factories in uh, my city of Chelyabinsk. Check that out, isn't that fucking beautiful? You guys know that show Chip Thrills when they show how to make uh, fashionable clothing uh, for real cheap? Let's just get a nice gosha here so uh, it becomes a uh, expensive product. There we go guys, as you guys can see, now this is a gosha Adidas collab. A hundred dollars just for this cap right here. Check that out. Okay, so now I found this old ass sweater which is like 10 years old in my attic, basically. Let's put it on and see how epic it's gonna look. You see that, guys? Look, lo looks like a Gosha uh, new uh, collection yet. Yes, it does. Let's also get this really old flannel that I've got. Hey, yeah, try to fuck with me. <laughs> Yeah, why are you hating? Why are you hating, bruh? You're trying, to, you're trying to tell me that this is not the most fashionable outfit you've seen in your fucking life? Gosha, $200. The jacket, Gosha X Burberry, $500. The flannel, Gucci, $1,000. And the cap, of course, Adidas X Gosha. The, the whole outfit, ten fucking thousand dollars. Yeah, you're trying to tell me I don't look fashionable? Fuck, I'm overheating. I gotta, I gotta take this off real quick. <laughs> now, how about this, huh? You're trying to talk shit, bruh? You're trying to talk shit to me? I look like a fucking player. It doesn't matter that the, uh, the sleeves are uh, a bit small, but that doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is that it's Gosha Robczynski. Yes. Fucking slaying it out there. Also, check this out. Look at that. That's a vintage Puma jacket that my mom wore like 20 years ago. That looks like something that Gosh Robczynski would list today. And I found that in my, my grandmother's attic at her dacha, okay? Which is not even her house. Basically, I found that jacket in a place where they throw all the old clothing that they don't care about and they can destroy. And that's Gosh Robczynski's clothing line right now. That's what he's releasing. I feel like he literally goes to his grandma's attic and uh, grabs random old shit for inspiration at this point. <laughs> But yeah, I can say that the operation uh, Craft Nuts, Make Your Own Gosh Robczynski Clothing has been quite 
quite very uh, successful. We got a Gucci, a Ghost Robczynski collab on right now. Adidas hat. Boy, the uploads I'm gonna be getting on streetwear with this fit. Holy shit. But anyways, guys, I guess that is going to pretty much do it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, please make sure to slap the motherfucking like button. And perhaps I think, guys, as little vodka I should make my own merch in uh, in red Russian letters because you dumbasses buy sh buy that shit anyway because Goshrobchinsky sells it. I guess if I type down some Russian random words on the T-shirt, you guys are gonna buy that as well. So yeah, guys, watch out for a new little vodka merch coming soon uh, with Russian letters on it. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.